there are three main things that make a good deal. Location, cash flow, and the size of the opportunity. Location is pretty much everything when you're looking at a deal. If it's in a shitty location, even if the numbers are great, it doesn't matter. It's still a bad deal. From a macro perspective, you want to buy in an area where people want to live, where there's a lot of demand for housing and a lot of population growth. We're looking for a graph that looks like this. If we're zooming into the actual location of the building, it's super important how accessible it is and how little crime it has. When we're talking about accessibility, we're talking about access to freeways, access to malls, grocery stores, somewhere where it's convenient for people to live. When you find a deal that checks all these boxes, that's when you start looking at the numbers. The most important number you should be looking at is your cash flow. And the metric we use for that is cash on cash return. Keeping it simple, it's on an annual basis how much money you're making divided by how much money you put into the deal. As a baseline for our deals, we like to see at least 10% cash on cash day one. Because if you're bringing in other partners and there's not above 10% cash on cash, oftentimes you're just going to be basically buying yourself a job. You're not going to be making any money and you're just going to be managing somebody else's deal. It's way easier to hit the cash flow you need when you're going through creative financing instead of a traditional bank loan. Since all the terms are actually customizable, you can just move them around so you can hit your metrics. Whereas with the bank loan, pretty much your only input you can move around is price. With seller finance, usually you'll be able to borrow more money at a cheaper rate, making it way easier to cash flow. So you found a deal in great location. It's a ton of cash flow. And the last thing you're gonna be looking at is the size of the opportunity. If you have 10% cash on cash day one, but you can't increase your rents at all and you can't lower your expenses, is that really a deal that's worth doing? For us, it's not. There's just not enough opportunity for value add. Getting 10% cash on cash is nice, but the real way you get rich in real estate is stacking equity. The way you stack equity in real estate is by increasing your net operating income on your deals. That's just rents minus expenses. And there's deals like this sitting around everywhere. The first two deals we bought were just sitting on market. So get out there, go buy some real estate and subscribe.